So today's video is on infidelity and the three types of infidelity that men experience. The first is physical affair. Pretty basic. We all understand that. And, and again, these apply to men and women. So we got physical affair. And we have emotional affair, which is probably the most denied that it exists issue yeah. when it comes to women. They're like, I didn't have an emotional affair. Uh, you shared all sorts of stuff with somebody not your husband that was truly husband connection, intimacy talk, short of physical. And how often do emotional affairs turn into physical affairs? I know you work with the guys, but I got to say that's kind of a universal mostly. Oh, yeah. Denied. Yeah. Oh, no, no. I'm not arguing that it is in both ways. But the third one is one people don't realize, and that is financial infidelity. Ooh, that's a good so, one. and I had like three conversations in the last week, spending, opening up credit cards without telling a spouse, opening up credit cards in their name. Yeah. Uh, and guys will go, well, it's not like she had an affair. I'd rather she have a physical affair than go have financial infidelity because men. If she spends twenty, thirty, or fifty thousand without telling you, and I have seen these numbers, guess what? You are on the hook for ten, fifteen, or twenty-five thousand of that wow. debt upon divorce. I will say that that is an, a form of addiction: the spending, the shopping. Oh yeah, Re and retail therapy. The, the the root of addiction is now found to be lack of ability to connect or lack of connection. Oh, big dump truck coming, gonna hear some noise. So, as we know, I'm all about connection and intimacy. And again, if you're in a disconnected relationship, you know, and it's universal men and women, but the reality is this financial stuff, if you've got Amazon coming every single day or there's a question, you do need to be on the same page financially. So what will happen when we're getting married at the end of May? What will what? happen if you... <laughs> if you open a credit card without telling me and run up a big bill? What, what did I oh, tell you would happen? I, I don't remember exactly what you said, but basically I'm pretty sure it would be the end of yeah, the done. relationship. Yeah, done. Because that is still infidelity and that is yeah. unacceptable. Uh, now... I've also told you for travel, we're going to get you a card because right. let me tell you, for I'm a, stuff. yeah, I'm a Dave Ramsey guy, but renting a vehicle without a credit card is a pain in the ass, yeah. contrary to what he wants to talk about. And, you know, so hang on one second. So guys. Those are the three forms of infidelity. And it is a two-way street, but I'm, again, talking to the men. Uh, what do you think's the worst? You know... I don't mean to put you on I, the spot. I, I don't know if I can answer that because each one of them has if their own devastating effects. Okay, that's fair. And a lot of it depends. There's a lot of, you know, what were the particulars around all of it. Right. So, okay. Fair enough. All right. Thank you for participating in such a fun topic. <laughs> Guys, have a great week. If you want to talk to Melanie, you want to talk to me, contact information below. And fortunately, and links to Mentoring Men and a Failing Marriage Recovery Plan below. And fortunately, this video is done because my arm's getting tired. Catch <laughs> you later, guys.